All right. Can't spam. You suck when it gets back. Okay. Spam it. You suck. You suck. You suck. Spam it when it gets back. It's important. You have to keep this in mind. Vital for the health of this stream and for the health of Mr. Pitman that you do it. Is this play with friends? It is, yes. It is indeed play with friends. We're practicing for the GM tournament because we're doing promos. This is uh, game two of round one of the GM tournament for practicing. It's not the actual tournament. When does the tournament start? On May 29, in nine days. Can you explain the game mode? Yes. Uh, okay, first to hold 50, that means if you stay at 50 or more for a full turn, you win. Uh, basically, right, let's say uh, you start your turn with 52 troops, right? And then uh, you end your turn, you are still at 52, right? You start your turn at 52, end your turn at 52. Then someone attacks you three times, and now it's your, your 49, you didn't hold 50. You're below 50. But if no one attacks you, and you stay at 52 for the next turn, you win, right? Because you started your last turn with 50, and you uh, never went below 50, and you stayed at 50 until the next turn, you win. That's basically it. Just stay at 50 or above for a full turn. I summarized it as well as I could. What's the Peatman? Get 50 troops is all I picked up? That's correct. How is this a fast game mode? You will see. You will see. All this makes the right, list. ladies and gentlemen. We're doing a second practice game, sign up game for the Risk Grandmasters Tournament Season 9. Anyone just getting into this chat from Bunzi's stream, if you are a Grandmaster and you're looking to compete at the highest level of the game. <laughs> you suck, Pete! Wow. <laughs> That's aggressive. Um, come on down. Follow the link that Parlox is going to be posting. I'm going to put it in the show notes as well. Join the Grandmasters Arena. Join the Grandmasters Tournament. We'd love to have you. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love it, and I love what Parlox is doing um, with really creative and complex settings. So you are a hardworking man, and I'm grateful for you. I appreciate it. Uh, this is fixed, by the way, everyone. It's not Pog, just keep that in mind. Oh my god, people are now lying about me saying that I said you suck. You often do say that I suck, though. So, they're not wrong. Slam, <laughs> yeah. It's not true, I've with, never said it. With friends like these, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. I love you too, Parlogs. Oh. Nothing wrong with a little bit of love in this world. When you left, probably says he's going to suicide into me. That makes sense. That that sounds. sounds I very did much not say me. that. <laughs> you dare tell a celebrity? He's like, please do not call me a celebrity. That's so absurd. The tourney is VC. the The GM tournament is a voice chat tournament. Um, I've had such a struggle recently, um, trying to help show the joys of VC risk on my channel such that I've, I've now just specifically put it on free Pete um, because I think a lot of the kind of newer, more intermediate audience is just more interested in here's how I play. Here's how I get better. Whereas the skills to do well in VC are additional psychological layers on top of the already sort of technical mechanics of the game. And I think once you get there, once you get really into the sort of the inside baseball level of risk, um, it can be very fun and enjoyable, but until you do, it can be a bit overwhelming. So yeah, I have a sec, exactly. I have a second channel free Pete. Um, and this is where I'm going to be doing this promo. So if you are hearing this and you haven't signed up or you haven't subscribed to free Pete, please feel, feel free to do so. Cause that's the type of stuff I'm going to be doing, right? More unedited VC tournament games, um, risk news, Q and a waiting on your best behavior podcast. Um, 
and even GeoGuessr daily challenge videos. So, how do I get into the North America position without pissing people off? I can help you with that. I figured you could because you want Europe. Why? Okay. I can move my three to the left so you can move your two and three to North America. Thank you. If you want. Yes. If you wish. I do wish. All right. Many things. I also need to manage my relations with White because he's once Australia and I have a five right now. Yeah, well, you're probably going to be able to get a card out of it before he hits it. Yep. I actually wonder if it's worth, like, suiciding after I take one card, because, like, if I don't, then he has to kill a four, but also, like, I kind of own my relationship with him. Right. Leona's uh, asking, won't holding a bonus be detrimental in this mode? And I wouldn't say that. I would think everyone is going to take a... My intuition, tell me if I'm wrong, Parallax. My intuition yes. is that everyone takes a bonus as normal. Yes. Yeah, and then, and then the jockeying for position starts where... I would imagine that's how these games evolve, right? Right. I mean, eventually have, everyone has to be broken because no one wants to let another player get 50, right? Because then they just win. Yes. Uh, I think people misunderstand, like, immediately on, on first uh, on, on first hearing the name. Like, what, what does it mean? How would it play out? Uh, I don't think uh, it plays out like how most people think it does. I've played yeah. a bunch of times. It's really fun. It's really short. There's a lot of skill in it. I'm, ex I'm excited to see how this game plays. I yeah, I, and, and I tried to, uh, I tried to, just for, the, for, just for branding, uh, get Parlox to change it to first to 69. He said, nah, but the game is, the gameplay is worse. I said, well, fair enough. We can't no, no, there is, there is another one. <laughs> <laughs> I did create another one with that. Yes. Uh, thing. So it's basically the same thing, yep. except a bit different. Okay. Uh, so reach 69. You yes. have to... Uh, just reach 69 tropes at any point and you instantly win. Okay. Sounds epic. Yeah. I, since it's fixed, it's not just about the cards. I think people will, again, like, maybe misunderstand, think like, oh, it's just luck, right? Whoever gets 69 first just wins instantly. That's not really how it plays out. Okay. What are the settings behind fix? This is classic fixed. Uh, expert automated, but we don't start with any bots. Alliances are on, fog blitz portals are off, balance blitz dice, and the modifier that Parallax has added is the first player to have over 50 troops at the beginning of their turn wins the game. Yep. Johnny says, I love it. Yeah, dude, I think it's super interesting. Thank you. Have you practiced one, Johnny? Or is this your first time looking at it as well? I imagine for most people it would be. Yeah, well, you're creative fellows. There's so. more than a, there's more than a full week left to sign up uh, before the tournament starts, so plenty of time for participants to practice games. Did I speak? Did I speak incorrectly? Over fifty or at least fifty? I think fifty. At least. 50. 50, at least yeah, at least, at, at least fifty, or but it doesn't have to be exactly fifty. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. We're doing the, the specific language thing. Yes, of course. As necessary, as dictated. Yes. Um, 50 or what more. Does, what does Lena want? She has an 8 right there. I don't know what she expects from me. She wants to have a bonus, and she wants you to have nothing. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a bad deal for you. I know. Uh, if you could move your 6 down so I can get my 5, though. So. Uh, yep, sure. You can do that. Lena says the eight is literally moving out. All right. Well then, Pete. I think says lack think about... lack of specificity all included in the next Reddit post. <laughs> Please do. Please do. <laughs> what do I think about? What do you think about the settings then? For this? Uh, yeah, and the, I think the it's previous. I think it's the perfect thing for a um modifier that people haven't seen before because they're so familiar that will really highlight the the first to hold 50. 
Yeah, I, that's what I thought too, right? Because like, for a long time I thought like, I want to do Classic 50, right? Because a lot of people like it a lot. Sure. And you know, it's like, as the name suggests, it's like the classic mode, right? Everyone pl knows it. Yep. Everyone plays it. Uh, I just thought like, I never really liked it that much because of the risk of stalemating. It's so high that it just scares me away a little bit. But I think because of this mode that I added right here, uh, th these settings get so much better because the risk of stalemate is basically none. Yeah. Which is, uh, I think, is great. Yes. How do you have so many troops uh, than me, even though we both don't have a bonus? I mean, I'm just better at risk, maybe? That doesn't make any no, sense. No, you lost a five in Australia. You respond with a five in Australia and you're not the Australia player. That's probably a big part of the reason why. I imagine so, yeah. All right. I got bonus troops. Yeah, Leona says because I got the also I got the the plus two extra troops. Oh, they have only two troops ahead of you. Nice. Well, no, now you have your turn. Your five troops ahead. <gasps> That's a lot of troops, bro. I know five troops. <laughs> That's a big difference. It's gonna change so much. Doesn't move out! Oh really? Really? Okay. Here's your one turn warning. I think uh, Black wanted to move his fort into South America. Well, now he's calling. He had, yeah. he had, he had time to do that. Uh, she. So I'm, I'm not looking at the names. I'm just basing it off. The they. Comments. Oh, it is hot buns. They had time to do that. Yes. That's true. You hear what I said, Bunzi? Do you know how to play this? Uh, 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 by the way, Bun says it was blocked. Do you know how to play the uh, South America position? Uh, are you asking me? No, I'm asking Hot Buns. When when you when you have a a prick like me trying to brick up North America, if you hit the six v if you hit the six v two in uh, Kamchatka, then you can move your four out, and then you have an Asia position, which is what you actually want to take cards. Otherwise, you're taking cards off me, and you're starting a war with me, or or you just put it on, on that side of the board. Uh huh. Oh, interesting. And now I don't have a card. Come on, guys, I don't have a card. <laughs> <laughs> Parlax getting tardied, as is tradition. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I it's funny, it's like he's been raging again. I'm so angry. Please, I'm, I'm having a bad time playing these video games. As you can, as you can well see, folks, I am having a terrible, terrible time. Yep. Yeah. What a what a prick. <laughs> Oh my god, look at my troop count compared to everybody else. Break him. So sad. <gasps> Just no, don't do it. Break him. Don't do it. Fuck him don't in the butt. Do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, well. If she didn't give me a card. <gasps> oh! She didn't give me a card. I told her to give me a card. That gets a sol that gets a solid one of these. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> solid one of these. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Uh yeah, some of these things can happen occasionally. I think these are unserious uh plays like you know card blocking me for no reason me breaking or stuff like that it shouldn't really happen in the tournament okay it's stuff that usually would just uh, happen in practice games so i think judging it off plays like that it's not really fair is it um is it set up as the five player game too i assume this doesn't yes. work as well with six six players i think with six players uh classic fixed is worse because not everyone has a bonus they can take like here there are five bonuses uh for each player like yep. i can get a bonus but in six players it's impossible because no one's gonna take asia yeah 
And someone obviously loses. Yeah. Okay. She has 50, guys. She does. Oh my god, 50. The spice must flow. Why did hot buns break me? What did I do to her? What the hell? Everyone target me. Maybe she doesn't like you, Parlox. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Oh my god. Stop going through me. What did I do to you? Alright. Well, hopefully we can get some type of alliance here. There you go. Alright. Oh, 53! Guys! Guys, yes, 53! <laughs> uh, this is one of the most fun parts about the game. Everyone gets to 50 and then everyone uh, has to talk about everybody else. Look, he has 50. He has 50. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't, think, I don't think it will realistically, at least most games, they won't realistically end by someone actually having 50. I think the point is that there's so much action, right? It encourages action. Which I think makes it a lot of fun. Ooh, 49. Had to. You did it. Yeah. Otherwise the game ends, right? Uh, Heidsung, yes. Heidsung just shouted you out. He says, I absolutely admire the creativity of Parlox to find all these different game modes and settings. Can you ask him if the creativity comes from the carnal desire to be decent? Oh, he, he didn't shout you at all. He was being a dick. To be decent oh. at any of these game <laughs> Oh my god. That was quite the layup, sir. Quite the layup. Indeed, yes. Very rude. Oh, man, this game. 52. He says, I love you. And are we back, ladies and gentlemen? Are we back? I think we're back. Just a brief, brief interlude. Back. Yes. Oh, my gosh. The peepin. He's round! Yes. The mountain. Oh my god, Peter's at 54. This is scary. Who, me? 66! Oh my god, 66! Oh no. Don't worry, Parlox. What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you think? In my test games, players had very different strategies when they reached 50. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to tell you, or would that spoil No, no, I love figuring shit out on my own. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely love figuring shit out on my own. All right. I'll, I'll tell you when it's over. Well, it cool. Doesn't matter yeah, yeah, totally. Someone strategies that people found for this game world are very interesting. Yeah, I honestly, man, you know, I, you know, I like kind of figuring stuff out. So I yeah. want to see if this plays the way I think it plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously. I understand, Bunzi. Completely understand. Well, if she only takes a one, then you're not going to be below 50. Well, whose job is it actually to hit me? So, White's going to hit me a right bit. Now. Yeah, it's true. She has 60 right now. So, mm -hmm. so she has to weaken herself and you. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I that, the, the, whole ha the whole half do thing is, is relative, I think. Um, right. It, it's, it's ultimately the job of the person ahead of you in the turn order to make sure you're under. But if that person doesn't have good access to you, mm -hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Spud is uh, stunting in the chat about how he's been subbed to me for two full years. That's awesome, man. <laughs> you are a gentleman, Spudley. Uh, I have to get white below 50. Otherwise, he just wins instantly. Correct. Uh-huh. Manual that 45 a little bit. 
Nah, I can just take these two wands. Uh -huh. I like that. Hey, thank you, Hornet GX, for the sub. Thanks, man. Hmm. So if you've stayed above 50 right now, Pete, you just win. Yeah, so he's going to hit me enough to get me under and not more than that, right? That's right. And then you have to hit black because she has 58. Sure. And black has to hit pink, and it's this never-ending loop. <laughs> right. It's this never-ending loop. Okay. Um... We've gotten into... We've gotten to a uh, very weird position. I think uh, a lot of the players here in this game didn't really realize how this could be played uh, optimally, which is interesting. Did I get enough? You. Oh, 50. One more. Okay. Nice. Those are some good dice. Yep. And then black has to hit pink three times. You get hell below 50. <laughs> I love this. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Parlox is a sadist, confirmed. Oh, God. You monster. History's oh, greatest monster. Oh, my gosh. Such a good guy. Happy Saturday, Forks. Have a great day. Thank you. You too, Septimus. You too. Yes, everyone. Everyone have a great Saturday. You know what we say in Hebrew, right? Uh, the Sabbath? Shabbat? Close enough. Hmm. Oh, you say shove it up your Shabbat? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And how does Lena feel about oh. having her Africa stolen? Chegwitz says Shabbat Ooh. Shalom. That's right. Shabbat Shalom. Yep. Yeah. You're close. Very good pronunciation, but not perfect. Parlox, I've been speaking Hebrew a lot longer than you, buddy. Uh-huh. Yes, you're so good at Hebrew. Thank you. You're very familiar I'm with I'm so good at everything, and if you tell me otherwise, I will rage at you. Uh-huh. 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 Oh. Uh, so why is it 54? And again, people make it my job to break him. Yeah, of course. Uh. <laughs> if you try to shove things up people's butts again, so angry. Damn the rap music and the jello pudding and the raping and the drugging and the... Wait a minute. <laughs> Get him, Parlox. Uh, I am. You actually can't. You failed. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. What do you mean? Never mind. I missed the two in my in my bonus. Yeah, yeah. Easy. There you go. Yeah. He's winning the game in a win condition as well. Yes. Of course. If you win the game, you win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why are you so quiet today? Pete, Pete? You think I'm quiet? I think you're quiet. Ah, I think I'm just chilling, my friend. Uh, Black is at 50. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Do I have to fucking manual hot buns, though? I like hot buns. I don't fucking for shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do! I like hot buns! Give me a break! She makes great risk television. Alright. Very talented player! You think she's super you cool? You didn't get a card. What? You didn't get a card. I don't think I need a card. You don't need a card. I don't think I need a card, Parlox. Okay. Yeah. Hey, thank you, RJ. Giving the sub to Johnny is best! Is best, bro. Thanks, dude. Oh my god. I'm on early today. Yeah, it's uh, it's the weekend. I don't usually stream on the weekend, but I had to do some makeup streams. Makeup? Yeah, I missed a couple this week. Um, 
very busy time of year, which is why you were on uh -huh. my case on my case to do this promo. But uh, yes, yeah, we can fit it in, right? Of course. Oh, Drew gifted you a sub. Let's go. Thanks, oh, Drew. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, she's gonna be at fifty-one. Come on. Oh, yep. there you go. And oh, even below that. Nice. Yeah, so I'm, I'm now I'm trying to kind of deduce how these things end, and so far I don't see it. I think... I'll, Do people get suicided I into? I think every every play on this game is understood how it's supposed to be played, to be honest. Okay. Well, don't spoil the because, surprise. Of course. Not sure what, why Luna hit me there, but okay. I think she's sick of your oh. shit. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> For what it's worth, I am also sick of your shit. Okay. Yep. You know what? You're a bit rude today. You said I was quiet, now you're saying I'm rude. Yeah. Sure is easy, just cast dispersions on the internet, Parlox. Oh my god. Oh no! That was a misclick. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> oh my god. And the game is over. Nice. Why? Well, that, that sure uh, ruined that game. Why is, the, why is the game over? What did you do? Because I got 50. Who got 50? Oh. Why? Oh, you actually fucked up? <laughs> I missed it. I missed the one on the top left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so spo now you can spoil it. How is the game supposed to be played? All right. So uh, you got to 66, right? Yeah. You're going to go below 50 either way, right? No matter what you do, unless someone makes a super dumb mistake like, like I did. Like you did, right. Okay. Y yes, which we, generally you shouldn't rely on that. <laughs> I, I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. As a rule. Yes. So, so seeing as you got to 66, uh, the best play from there seems to be to just kill someone. Because you're gonna lose at least 60 troops anyway, so you might as well kill someone on the way and get a few Interesting. Cards. Sure, very interesting. Hey, Hippocrip, thank you, man. Thousand biddies, thank you so much. And thank you, RJ, for the Wow. You and alcohol pair. Choo choo! Guys, thank you so much. Spud says this mode sucks, we'll be here all day. The game just ended. It's over. White one. Sorry, yes. I didn't I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm just very grateful for Oh, and thank you, Archand Alon. Guys, thank you. It's very, very rewarding to know that you would want to spend time with me, let alone support me. Thank you so much. Okay, so you kill someone, and then what happens? Well, eventually the game ends. Because, because when, everyone... whenever, gets, whenever someone gets far enough in a lead, they might as well use the attacker's advantage to help eliminate a player, and then it becomes a 1v1? Yes, I I wish. Hold on, because I had like five, at least five test uh, practice games, like yes. test this game out, and yes. every time it ended like in, in less than thirty minutes because everyone just killed everyone. Well, this time it ended in uh, less than thirty minutes. See, I mean, I th I think people misunderstand. I think like especially because in this game specifically, everyone is new to the game, also they don't really understand how it's supposed to be played. I think it's not really gonna still melt in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Tain Tickler is like Parlox is the one saying how everyone should play. Meanwhile, he's the one that blows the game. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, well, you you can't take the heat. Stay out of the kitchen, sir. I know. I know. <laughs> but I might as well try it. The game is over. Hey, thank you, Farmers and Smith. Aww. thank you for the sub, folks. What a great Saturday it is for me. Appreciate all of you. Thank you, thank you. Parlox worse than JJ? Does JJ lose to bots? He can't. There's no way JJ loses to bots. That's not impossible. Oh, my God. I, I'll have to check if someone uploaded some of these games. Maybe Arco did. Yeah. Because, like, they they really show off how the game mode... Bun says, are we work. just playing for the lols? Or does the game yeah, actually okay. continue? I'm, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a classic fix game for a while. I don't know about you, Benzie, but uh, okay. now it looks like we're playing in a classic fix game uh, where we've lost to White. But 
Who knows? Yeah. What, who knows what happens? Elliot Onder, have we played? UK flag, eight hundred something hours. GG man. And two eighty eight fourteen twenty seven. That's a lot of games. Uh, Archan Delon, one of the first videos of yours I watched was about how you are not your mind. Rather, it's a tool used to solve problems that really helped me change my thinking, solve problems instead of letting my mind create them for me. That idea is certainly not mine. It's not an original idea that I came up with, but it, in the same way, has been very useful for me to just stop identifying with my mind, stop focusing on, you know, shit that doesn't matter, problems that I am essentially creating um, the anxious monkey mind, right? The chatter, the noise. And it's, it's nice to just relax and be in the moment and like, you know, attack my territory, but that's my territory. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, do you, are you sure you want to do this game? Because I feel like from now on it's gonna stale me. I mean, you play your best, play your well, best game, Parlox. If you don't want to play it, you don't. I'm okay. not. I'm not gonna ask you to play it. Oh my god! Of course, it breaks me. Yeah. Everyone hates me. That's sixty-nine. Right. You got sixty-nine. Nice. You had sixty-nine though for a moment before you set in. Epic. I know. Amazing. I spent the last year tackling all my debt. I have 6k left on my car and I will be debt free for the first time in almost 39 years. That is such an accomplishment. Congratulations. I avoided debt like the plague my entire adult life. I know how insidious it is. I know how much luck it takes to not find yourself in that, right? Some people are born, you know, they, they get the birth lottery. They end up um, way ahead of the game, but there are very predatory systems in play. Do it. Do it. Oh, no! <laughs> right? There's very predatory systems in place that exist to um, convince you to buy shit you don't need, convince you to take on these predatory interest rates. Like, I don't understand how people can exist in these margins of the economy. Any one, one round of bad luck and you're just on the street. It's crazy, right? So congratulations. That's a really huge accomplishment. Yep. Yeah, good job. I agree. Break the shackles of debt slavery um, as much as you can. Yes. I've been in debt for 10 years. Yeah. By, yeah. by, the, by the fact that you exist. <laughs> uh, I have a debt of like five dollars. Don't worry about it. I think you die. Who do you owe? No one. Uh, this I is like to you. This is the price you pay for avenging me, Parlox. Oh, damn it. Well, I learned from that. I won't avenge you anymore. I appreciate it. I feel like I feel like you had it out for Lena too, though. No, she did. She attacked me the whole game. She, she did. That's what I'm saying. She did attack you the whole game. So. <laughs> uh. Well, that was great. Um, oh, baby! My... All right, Bunzi says no. I won't attack White. Fair enough. Ooh. Uh, Beatman. Yo. I'll Yo. hop out in like five minutes, so yes. I'll just answer a few questions if anyone has. Yeah, any. are there any more? Are there any more questions folks have for the GM tournament? W will you please post the sign up link again? Um, yes. Yes, I sure will. I sure will. Just a second. Oh, Buns, he's crying. Think. Do you know why I did that, Buns? Maybe we mis maybe we miscommunicated. Oh, here's a good question. Why is fifty the number? Uh, because we found that it's uh, 
easy, like, because it's rounded and it's the most balanced. Cool. Yeah, it's like a combination of easy, easy to remember, you know, it's 50, it's a nice round number, and it's balanced. That's basically the reason. We could do 40, but I think that would be too low. I die, and white wins the 1v1. That is GG. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a Grandmaster, please sign up for Season 9 of the Grandmasters Tournament, uh, hosted by Mr. Parlox on the GM Arena server. Uh, we got a variety of interesting creative settings. Um, she said, Thumb Sound attacking your territory. Ah, we misunderstood each other. Okay. Um, ooh, really bad dice. Wow. There's a chance, Bunzee! There's a chance. Let's see her take down the 1v1. Oh my god. I don't think there's much of a chance, but there's a small chance. There's a small chance. That's tall. Would you it agree? Exists. There's a chance here? I think there's a chance yes. here. Let's see it. It exists. Can hot buns... Are the buns hot enough to win this 1v1? If white has a 4 set and buns has a 10 set, she could probably win. Okay. Let's see it. I think I would have blitzed the 3, though. Me too. From the yeah. other side. That's the one thing I, I think, uh, Buns, if I was in that seat. I, oh, but she gets the 5v3. So it doesn't matter. Good dice. 22 to 25 and is really close. This is going to be a great finish. And she didn't do 2v1, even though he was at 21, the other guy. Uh, that's another thing, Buns. So if you check your opponent's troop count, um, because it's multiples of 3, so 21 gives them 7, it's often incorrect to manual roll 2v1s, except in the time where it brings them under one of those thresholds. So you're risking a troop, but you're also costing them a troop. This is yeah. you're gonna you're gonna learn 1v1s uh by osmosis, because you'll find yourselves in them. Oh, she holds a bonus! Parlox! Do we see it? No. Do we see the buns victory? Oh no. It's gonna happen. Spicy. Indeed. Very hot and spicy. So hot! Holy! Yeah, it's just like you. Thank you, Parlox. You don't need to compliment me too much. <laughs> that looks good, though. That looks really good, but 10 set, right? It does. You gotta blitz. Oh. Okay, you gotta manual those 2v1s, Buns. And also, he was at 17. Yeah, that so wasn't doesn't... necessarily. I don't, know. I don't know if she's listening to us. I, I have no idea, yeah. Boosted Boots says, Get that W, girl! And Leona wants uh, White to have a low trade, which they do not. Oh. The saga continues. It does. Oh, no. Oh, she doesn't have a set, or at least a big one. Uh, not a big one, I mean. Uh, no I no chance. Now. No chance. No yeah, set? No set? set? No. Oh, oh, no set? Come on. Oh, we got a set, baby. Oh, she was This lying. is good. This is a spicy finish. I like this a lot, man. He was lying to us. Unbelievable. Let's go! It's punchy punchy time. I can't believe Buns wins this. Good job. Oh, well, bad dice! I think she still loses because White has those threes and the four, and they have an equal, almost equal amount of territories. I think White still wins. Where do you put the three? North Africa? Yeah, North Africa though. Yeah, but but he can break easily, and he has a four and a three. I think White wins, and he has a set earlier. It's true. Yeah, White wins this. Too many troops. Yeah. Buns does not win, unfortunately. Oh. Nice. Takes Australia, that's risky. Oh. Need one more. Ah. Uh. 31. Oh, nice. Got a below 15. Yeah, white wins. There's no way to come back now. Yep. Well done. That was a good game. That I was enjoyed good game. it. I, I also enjoyed it. Thank you for doing all of this. Um, I know there's Thanks. a lot of um, a lot of conversation about what tournaments should I sign up for? Uh, why should I sign up for this tournament? Folks, in my humble opinion, 
this is the highest form of competition in the game of Risk. What Parlox is doing is he's incorporating um, the highest possible skill floor with complex, interesting, creative, and new settings. And I also, I am a card-carrying member of the Team VC Risk um, Club, so I love the respectful back and forth, the banter with very good opponents and seeing how different people uh, perform in the verbal game as well as the technical aspect. So if that isn't a hard enough sell, I don't know what is. I hope you sign up. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll go now. I don't have much left to say. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Shabbat shalom. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, bye, Parlax. So, how'd you like it? Kill Pete Turn you went soon. Very soon. What is being in the works? How would you guys, what would you guys name a Kill Pete Turney, anyways? And he says, I only enjoy VC Risk on non stalemate settings. Well, don't you suppose the VC, well, first of all, stalemate settings are, are bad. So, obviously, if you were to design a tournament, you would design non stalemate settings, period. But assuming that they exist, wouldn't VC make them more interesting, not less? Drew says, I'd name it the Kill Pete Strategy Tournament. That sounds terrible. Does anyone have a better brand than the Kill Pete Strategy Tournament, which is way too many words for a YouTube title? The Compete. Ooh, that I like that, Leona. The competition. <laughs> the risk competition. <laughs> Lena says VC on stalemate settings makes them way too affinity oriented rather than risk oriented. As soon as people know each other, oh, I hear that. It's who you know, right? Friendships and such. GG, Elliot Onder won the technical game, won the funsies game that spawned of it. Well played. Folks, thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to sign off for YouTube now. Stick around on Twitch. And um, if you would like to join us for the competition, I will put the links to the Grandmaster Tournament Season 9 in the show notes. And if you'd like to follow more of those VC competitions and anything and everything else I feel like creating on my second channel, Free Pete, I invite you to subscribe and come along the ride with me. I love you. I appreciate you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.